Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the mesmerizing Bobber Watch. Giant catfish. Got two rods baited, they're in the water. You're working. Good evening, ladies and All right, people, we've got night vision. Here we go. It's getting on that catfishy time of night when it gets dark.
Joseph, what's up? All the way from Michigan, USA. She came to see if we're catching any giant catfish tonight. I just got it in the water. We're going to try some late night fishing here on the Cindy May. I've got two rods baited, dunking and swimming in the water, looking for that giant channel catfish. It's a big, big full moon tonight. It's hot in Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's what you want, right? You want it to be nice and hot. That's what nighttime's for. Nice and cool at night. This is the night place to be tonight. We're going for a giant, giant, giant channel cat. With the giant, giant bobber watch. Them's two big bobbers right there. That's right. Call your parents. Call your friends. Tell everybody. Tune in. I'm out here in the sticks fishing. So you don't have to. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Just like getting wet, going back to bed. Yeah, raindrops, thunderstorms. We don't want to see none of that. We got a big full moon here tonight. It's big. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was my clicker. My four-aught bed clicker. Whoa. Something's giving it a hard way to go here. Do it again. We dare you. Now that was a thrash. Look at that bobber go. Ding dang. Boing, boing, boing. I missed that. You believe that? Darn, 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 darn. Well, that's a good sign. Let's check the bait. Something was tagging it. That's still got bait. Get it right back in there. Oh, boo -hoo. Boy, that moon is bright tonight. Man, 
and nothing sing the rod like that all day. <laughs> I'll we'll try it again, huh? That'll answer your question if anything's biting, right? I don't think that was a bait stealer. That thing really sang that rod i think he just lightly had a piece of it in his mouth and got loose there battery felt that resistance on it and he was a real big one smart like crafty yeah he was crafty we're gonna catch him he's gonna he's gonna be surprised <laughs> There's another one on the other side of him that's got two baits on it. A round bobber closest to the dock. It's got two baits on it. We're using my famous soft taco burritos shell. They're nice and fresh. They stay on the hook good. And they kick ass too. We got some fried chicken strips I'll be cooking later. We'll put one of those on there. This big catfish love fried chicken. Just like we do, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, that thing sang that clicker. We like that song. The clicker song. All right, it's party time on the Cindy May. If you got an invitation, you better stay. Oh yeah, here we go. Not paying much attention, just getting the party started. Night vision has kicked in. We might have to boost that light soon. There's still a little bit of light. Uh, uh. We should have people tuning in from all over the world. Where the heck are they tonight? Yeah. Where are they? Well, there's a good party on this boat tonight. Tell you what. Tell you what. All right. Let's cast this into the big screen here. Oh, that's better. Those bobbers, they light up with that uh, infrared. Shame they're going to need a boost later on. All right. It's party time. Yes, sir. Only on this channel. She says it's caught up with something else. Huh. There's a lot to eat in this water, I suppose. I saw those little dive bombing birds coming up with all kinds of fishies. <laughs> it's not like there was nothing down there but our dough balls. It's not even really supposed to start cooking until about 11 o'clock, I think. Tide's just turned and started to come in and get a little current to it. Big full moon tonight. It might be enough to 
keep us lit up like that all night without a additional light. Seagulls. <laughs> we got Alka-Seltzers for them. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> plop, plop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> Seagulls, they can't take a shiz. <laughs> Kaboom. Where else can you go watch two giant bobbers live? This ain't no recording. You can even talk to the dumbass that's fishing. Ask him questions and shiz. Uh-oh. I see that bobber acting funny again. Ha oh, ha. Point at it and go, ha oh, ha. Oh. <coughs> Woo -hoo -wee. That's gnarly. I can see the reflection of the moon on the water there. It's going to be a bright one as long as it doesn't get cloudy. Yeah, we missed a fairly decent fish there. He thought he was going to make off with that big giant bait in his mouth. <laughs> uh, he surprised me. I wasn't ready for nothing yet. I figured it'd take him a little while to start, but you just never know when that bobber is going to go down. That clicker sing. Sing that. Pin clicker song. Nothing sounds like that. That's right. You know he's still hanging around. His grandpa's coming, his grandma. He went to go get him and tell him there's free bait over here. I expect him to start moving here. It's not really quite dark here yet. It's what they call what? Twilight? <laughs> Something like that. There's still a little bit of light in the sky. Like I said, I'm not sure if we'll have to get out the additional lamp to drive that night vision out there we'll see so far I, I can see them bobbies pretty good now those are giant bobbies I might have to take a live trip down the river there or I should say it's up river St. John's River flows backwards, flows north. Suppose I should go at least, well, what, 50 to 70 miles, maybe, south. We'll stream live the whole way, right? <laughs> Hey, why not? Why the hell not? It's a party boat, that's why. Maybe the fishing be better down there. It's gotta be. Get up into some of these smaller rivers here. I think that's where the action is. Long lily pads and drop-offs. 
It's that time of year. They're still in here, though. There, there's always some big channel cats and whatever's around hanging out. Just got to interest them in some chewing. Do a little chewing for us. I'll start cooking those chicken strips. I got some General Zoe's sauce. It's mixed with orange sauce. I put that on them when they're done cooking. Have Chinese. <laughs> Or, or should I make pizza? Mm. Ooh. Chicken strips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chicken strips. Gave out some Let's Go Brandon stickers today. <laughs> Other recipient was was impressed, needless to say. They almost threw them away. They didn't realize they were in, in the bottom of the envelope. Let's go, Brandon. Yes, sir. Start biting while I'm cooking. They always wait till you get busy. Yeah, I got Let's Go Brandon hats. Let's Go Brandon flags. Got Let's Go Brandon stickers. You could win one. I don't know how. <laughs> but you could. <laughs> That's funny. You could win. I don't know how. But you could. <laughs> Anything's possible on this show. All right. Let's put. I'm going to put a piece of fried chicken on there. Let's put it. Uh. Let's put it on the big, tall Bobby. All right, Mr. Bobby, come here. Whoa. It's bumpy out here. This one on the other rod. I don't think that one was that big. I got one of the baits. That's all right. We give him a fried chicken too. Well, they're biting. That's for sure. going on in the cabin. <laughs> Got it all going on.
I was totally unprepared for for that one again. I guess most people, unless they sit there and hold that rod in their hand, are just never prepared. The mangers, oh, managers. Oh. What were you fitting in the box? Not a box. <laughs> What'd you fit in? <laughs> Alright. Well, we're fishing fishing with fried chicken. Alright. This is so cool. Hey, I guess it it'd help if you plug in your oven, right? It's not gonna do much cooking. Plus it's plugged in. Wasn't a good fit for the job. They, did they tell you to go away? No, no job? I'm going to get another light out there. It's starting to get mighty grainy. That infrared doesn't put out too good a signal. So let's boost it, right? Let's give it the good old boost. Boost your ass. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> and some of that too. <laughs> boost ya. Booster. <laughs> you booster you. <laughs> Alright, you booster. Here we come. Ready, set. Oh, take that. Oh yeah, I can see that shit now. Oh, he said a bad word. Better put a penny in the bad word jar. Put another penny in there and this boat's gonna sink. <laughs> My bad word jar. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a good night. Everybody's already caught a buzz. Ha ha ha. Uh. Ding. No, 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 no. I guess all that time it thought it was cooking. <laughs> but it wasn't plugged in. It's bumpy out here tonight, people. All right, let's... Well, that's the noise we like. Except it's just me doing that. Get it out a little bit further. See it better. More better. All right. We got fried chicken. Fishing with... <laughs> I guess they'd be... Uh, Chicken tacos, yeah. We're fishing with chicken tacos. <laughs>
They don't laugh, they're eating it, right? Well, they haven't eaten the chicken yet. They ate the, the burritos. Hmm. That's all right there. Uh-oh, what was that? Whoa, that barber's going crazy out there. Mac and knack and knack. That sounds like a place to get a snack. <laughs> Mac and knack. Well, he's a hard worker, that's for sure. What do you suppose was running that barber around? It was getting a Mac and knack attack. I wish I had a Big Mac. He was a smarty pants. He had a Mac attack. Mac and Mac attack. Well, it was was running that barber all around. I bet he ate our god dang chicken strip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, he better not eat our chicken strip. <clears throat> they might like it better if we put some of that General Zoe's sauce on there. That'd get him going. <laughs> Give him a Diabetic coronary, right? <laughs> Floating up all the way downstream from <laughs> being diabetic coma. Oh, so good. Yeah, channel catfish. Or they could be bullheads. We we got big bullheads here. We, I think state records 20 pounds for a bullhead. I know I've got them 10, 12 pounds. That's a big bullhead. That's scary, you know. I always thought it was a channel cat. After I heard what the record was, I realized that those big mother effers were <laughs> bullheads. Oh, yeah. They were bullheads. need more viewers call your girlfriends call your boyfriends call your cat call your dog tell them to log in and get on here and have some fun tonight every time I get busy down here in the basement <laughs> the basement they try to make off with it I get busy again and see if they don't. I just never expect it and then all of a sudden it happens. I got two monitors down here. Well, I don't know about a boyfriend. You, you, you won't find one here. There's no never anybody here. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. You won't find nothing here. <laughs> Might find a laugh in a fishing career. But there's nothing here. Cat won't even come over and visit me. It's probably a good thing. I saw it sitting there on the dock scratching. I'm sure it's got fleas. And I don't want any fleas on my boat. Probably got it from that rat that was living on their boat before they killed it with the trap or however he got it. <laughs> Cat was too lazy to get it. You imagine that having a big old cat couldn't catch a rat. 
Sit there and watch it walk by. Meow. Talk to it. Probably try to sniff its butt. Yeah, those bobbies are showing up like a... <laughs> oh, you can't say dirty things on here. God. <laughs> Takes all the fun out of it, though, don't it? Maybe that wind lighting up. That or the current starting to run a little better. Let's send them out closer to that dog. Send out the round, Bobby. This is like Stratego. <laughs> Stratego fishing. Here's our strategy. We're going to let it out farther. No bugs. Yeah, it's moving. We'll go farther. Go further, further. Yes, sir. Oh, fried chicken strips. They smelling good. Mm -mm. So you, you're all grown up now. You're ready for the world, right? Tired of those boring people in the vicinity of Mackinac Island. Yeah. I don't blame you. What do those hicks know? They don't know nothing about the big city. All they know is like Bailing hay and milking goats and the cow. Maybe a little bit of pig wrestling. <laughs> wee, wee. <laughs> a little bit of pig wrestling. <laughs> uh, they, they probably wrestle them baby goats, yeah. Sheep. That's it. That's what the Mackinackers wrestle. They wrestle sheep. That's what what everybody said. <laughs> sheep, sheep. <laughs> oh, that shit's funny. They should have have this on the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. <laughs> We'd get him banned quick, right? Band. <laughs> You're a band. <laughs> Censored. <laughs> band. Split and sagging all. I used to go fishing in the Upper Peninsula, Sault Ste. Marie. It's a little place there that's north of Sault Ste. Marie, if you can believe that. It's called Sugar Island. Oh, there used to be some good fishing up there. Probably still is. When that ice goes out, yeah, fishing is awesome. Gotta get there. 
right when there's still chunks of ice floating in the water. You get in some of those little bays and fishing's incredible. Perch, pike, burbot, catfishies. Come on, Bobby. I'm not watching. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm looking right at the damn thing on the on the live screen, you know. You guys got a 20, 30 second delay. I think it's 20 second delay. Um, what goes down here to the time you see it, 20 seconds. So I got two monitors. I got one big screen. It's got what you're seeing on it. And I got a laptop. It's got the live version of it on full screen. It can be confusing, <laughs> to say the least. But hey, we know what to do. This always gets them, makes them bite, you know. Three hundred miles. Holy McCow. Did, did he ride his goat all the way to Northern Michigan University? Did a goat, can the goats go that far? Oh, wait, wait, he was riding the sheep. I'm sorry. Yeah, they probably could make it. Maybe it was a camel. Ah, camel. <laughs> Used to be Joe Camel would sell cigarettes. <laughs> Joe Cool, Joe Camel. A car? Oh, wow. I forgot people had cars. All I got is a scooter. Nah, it's not the kind you got to push with your foot. Well, unless it doesn't run. A little fucker ran out of gas the other day. You'll never guess where it ran out of gas. Yeah, it ran across, right across the street from the gas station, about a half a block north. That was downhill the whole way. Am I lucky or what? Yeah. If you're going to run out of gas in your motorcycle or scooter, moped, whatever. <laughs> the middle of nowhere. What are you wishing that it was the middle of nowhere, or, or was that your guess? <laughs> Probably everybody said oh, you should run out of gas in the middle of nowhere. Probably get picked up by a couple of hillbillies playing their banjo to the song Deliverance. <laughs> Mr. Atlantic Drain, the night bobbers are flashing. What's happening? I had a couple pretty good runs, but no hookups yet. I expect it to get better. Big, bright, full moon here. You can see it reflecting in the water there it's that's the moon on the left the, I think the one on the right's probably it could be the moon too now the one on the right is uh, street lamp well 
What happened to your dad and his motorcycle? He went to Mackinac. Get a <laughs> get a Mac attack. Just that here's telling us stories. Something about riding goats and camels and Oh, he coasted into the gas station. Well, that's a lucky person, you know. When, when you run out of gas and coast into the station, that's, that's good luck. You should have ate more beans. That's, yeah. Boy, I had some gas the other day. Good thing I, I didn't have a big lighter. I'd have set a few of those bad boys on the fire. Ooh I'd have had a flamethrower. <laughs> I, I should do that on live TV every night, man. I'll eat some beans like all day long, you know. And hold them in until like, yeah, 10 o'clock at night. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I bet I bet millions of people would tune in. What well, what do they use them horses and bikes for? Is it like a sweatshop? Is that like they do to the Uyghurs in China? They use them. Oh, oh I see. They ride on them. Yeah, they they got one of those out there on the side of Lake Erie, one of those islands. Got nothing but oh, yeah, they can have electric go karts. That's right. I don't think they're allowed to have cars. It's uh, Atlantic Drain knows what island that that be. Is that Kelly's Island? Kelly's Island, I bet you. We used to camp there all the time in the boat, go around the backside and little bay there, Kelly's Island. Well, what if the people were to pull the carriages that the horses ride in? I mean, that's only fair, right? You think horses would like appreciate a ride sometime? Huh? Huh? Let's send that other one out farther. Here we go. Marching across the water. I got a new amplifier today. It's blue. <laughs> That's funny. Guy asked me, what kind of amplifier is it? I said, it's blue. Because <laughs> it's blue. Oh, yeah, it's a blue amplifier. Because, well, what kind of guitar do you have? I said, I got a Chinese Fender. <laughs> he said, what? Yeah, I got a Chinese Fender. It matches the boat. It's a light cream color with white. You didn't hitchhike? Like, girls can get picked up when they're hitchhiking, you know. They, they just smile and wave at those Amish guys and their horses and buggies. And what do those Amish boys say? Rum Springer! <laughs> Pick her up! It's Rum Springer! Springer! Or whatever they call it. Rum Springer! Yeah. I should know that. That's a kraut term. Oh, yeah. 
Look. Yeah, I know. You got to go across the Mackinac Bridge. That's scary. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> you imagine me up on top of the mast up there. I got, like, sick and puked. Hitchhiking is dangerous. Well, I don't know. Are those Amish dangerous? You know, they said that all there is is horses and buggies. They, they wouldn't make much of a getaway, would they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We got chicken strips. It's time to get out the general zoos. Here we go. Yeah, when that singer buzzed, it scared the shit out of me. I was not expecting it. I'm standing like my ear is right next to that reel to the clicker. <laughs> Believe me, you know, you if you heard it when it went off, and Atlantic Drains heard that clicker go off before, up close and personal. <laughs> you imagine it going off in your ear. Zing. Boygan. This sounds like something they'd say in New Jersey. They let the, the girls ride free in those taxis. That's what I hear. So the Girls all ride free. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that running on loop. That's what I thought. It sounded kind of... It probably is, you know. Jewish. All right. Time to eat Chinese. Homemade Chinese. Tyson crispy chicken strips. No, oh, that's good. That's way too good for regular people. Mm. 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 You can't swim to it? 
You were a really good swimmer. What about a balloon? Could you take a balloon there? Could you ride on top of a polar bear? All the way there? A polar bear? <laughs> oh, shit. Polar bear? What? What if you? What if you had a half a dozen beavers on a harness tied to your kayak, and you had a birch stick on a string on a stick? That you can hold in front of them like a donkey with a carrot. So you don't think my six beaver kayak would, would make it? Is that what you're saying? What, what, what if we got 10 beavers? Yeah, 10. 10 beavers. And a polar bear. All in the kayak. Tell them we're going to buy them Chinese if they can make it to... Where are we going again? Mackinac? Yeah, but polar bears can, like, survive and the beavers can survive that cold water. Yeah. Damn, this chicken's good. <clears throat> now you forgot we can sail my boat there. Ha. Ah. Now I know this fucker would make it. <laughs> yeah, sailboat. Mm -hmm. I have to check the bait here after I get done eating this Chinese. Good night, Mr. Atlantic Grain. This channel's insane. <laughs> Get a laugh with your brain. Hmm. Man. 
Why, why doesn't everybody eat Chinese food? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Damn. Ooh. So what, uh, uh, is it like a, a four-person rowing machine where they all go, stroke, 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 stroke? That thing probably cooks, man. <laughs> it cooks. Get it? Huh? Oh, that was, man, that was too good for regular, regular people. So, Joe said she she doesn't got a boyfriend. That's sad. Someday you'll find one. That's what everybody say. That there's someone for everyone. Uh, uh. And that's a no mine. That was no mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting ready to check the bait. I will, I will, people. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Damn cat wouldn't come over and visit me. I called it and called it. It sat there and scratched her fleas. She'd keep her damn fleas. That's all I got to say. I want to come visit me. You can have her fleas. Eat them, too. It's what happens when you lick your fur, bitch. You eat those fleas. And you swallow them. And they turn into little maggoty looking worms in your gut and butt. <laughs> and you crap them out. And dogs eat those little cat turds. And then they got worms. And then they're scooting their butt on the carpet. Spreading worms. The vicious cycle, I tell you. <laughs> and that's the story of Ook. <laughs> Only on this channel can you get Ookie. <laughs> get Ookie. All right, what's going on out there? I'm getting to it. Waiting for that cat to jump up here and scare the shit out of me. Meow! <laughs> alright, alright. Check bait, right? All right. I think. Well, it's time to change the bait. Change the bait. It's clickbait. <laughs> Not that bait. <laughs> Fishing bait. We were naked out there. <laughs> Definitely nothing. 
Something ate our bait. In other words, angle them all up to. Oh, there we go. All right. One giant bait. Baits. Yeah, I'd show y'all the wonderful inside of this vessel, but it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah, I had I had two girls over here the other day. Yeah, that's right. I have guests sometimes. <laughs> they thought it was pretty nice in here Let's check the other one. Check the other one. Still got the bait. Well as the chicken nugget. <laughs> Still got its nugget. We are baited up. We're ready. Who's still watching? Anybody? <laughs> oh, I still love my video of Skeletor's mom. <laughs> Hey, they're still watching. <laughs> That's like the ice truckers, man. There's so many snowmobiles on the bottom. Man, can you imagine? Never hear from them again. They freeze to death and probably get... Eaten by big catfish. Gobble their gook. <laughs> their, their goop. <laughs> their gook. <laughs> Gobble their gook. Alright. Alright. See you. And you. I can see those bad boys. Look at that look, uh, night vision light that set up. Zow! Just give it a little boost, you know, from a 40 watt bulb. Still, that's pretty good. You wouldn't see shit if it was just a regular monitor. I mean, you might see a little bit, but, you know, you, you wouldn't see that clear clarity of the dock and the boat and the giant bobbies and my rods. Well, you'd see the rods because infrared picks that up pretty good. Anything straight out, you know. So this is live. The mesmerizing bobber watch with Bobby. Bobby the bobber and <laughs> what would you name the other one? 
You want to name the big tall one, Joe said? What would you name that one? I'm going to name the round one Bobby the Bobber. Well, that's in a good spot, too. It's right there by that channel that runs through that dock. <laughs> Them fish, they just wait in there for shit to float through that. Wham! They're going to have to come out and get that one, though. What should we name that big tall bobber? Call him Billy Buster. <laughs> Billy Buster. Mighty giant bobber. But well, I know a lot of meanings to Bud. Let's see, there's Bud Bundy, Bud like a buddy, Bud like smoke, Bud like beer. Where did I already say that? Lots of buds. That's a motorboat noise when you stick it in there and you go, bud, 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 bud. <laughs> Get that motorboat gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. The good old days when the motorboat haze, the craze of motorboats and motorboating. We was motorboating, man. This is the mesmerizing bobber watch. It changes color all by itself. It's red. It's green. What colors do we have? A beer can, Bobber. Yeah. Well, that round Bobber is not homemade, but the cylinder Bobber, I made that sucker out of a 16 ounce creamer bottle, some glue and some paint. The red marks a lot. We need to give it a name. Come on, Josetti. Joset. What's the name for the big tall Bobby? Think, girl. Johnny Cash would name it Big John. Big John. Big John. He was a hundred feet tall. He was a yard. Bounced a basketball across the yard. Big John. <laughs> However the hell it goes. <laughs> Big John. <laughs> <laughs> they threw him in the, the ring of fire. Big John. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a good name. Creamer. You're such a naughty girl. Golly. The Mighty Creamer. <laughs> I like it. The Mighty Creamer. Oh, he stands right up, that's for sure. Straight up and down. He's caught some pretty good fish with it. Oh, okay. Correction. She's drinking coffee. I had some coffee with some yummy vanilla creamer, French vanilla, just earlier. That's what got me going. So we got creamer. Sounds like Kramer on Seinfeld. <laughs> creamer. And Bobby the Bobber out there. They're going to do something here. One, one of them's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. We got good clear vision out there. I can see all the way to the other side of the docks. <laughs> I can see that sheriff boat over there. Just waiting for somebody to stick his parrot on him. <laughs> Got a parrot or cockatoo that just don't shut up all day long. Sings a song, <laughs> says crap. Well, I would think Bobby would get a bite before Mr. Kramer. But what do I know, huh? I should make some cookies. That's what I think. I got four words for everybody. And beware, that's not one of the words. Gingerbread cherry pie. That's right. Gingerbread cherry pie. There's nothing better in the world, I'm telling you. Don't eat it, you'll get addicted to it. You go around doing anything for a slice of gingerbread cherry pie in your later years. You know, I can see it. Addiction to gingerbread cherry pie. Don't do it. Don't start. Even though you're young and you think, yeah, yeah, I can handle it. That's what they all say. And then they're all addicted. There used to be a parrot on the main pier, had a filthy mouth. The guy said that it used to belong to a, a girl that worked for an escort service. You wouldn't believe the things that parrot would blurt out. I 
I couldn't say any of them on this live stream. <laughs> but there were some funny ones. Oh, you know what's really good? <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> Ice cold Pepsi. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, they'd be going around sniffing the floor at the Grocery store looking for boxes of gingerbread. And trying to smuggle out some cherry pie filling. Maybe with a little bit of whipped cream down their drawers, you know, just for old times sake. Oh, you, you got to have whipped cream. Man, or some vanilla ice cream on your gingerbread cherry pie. Oh, uh, that's the best effing stuff in the world, I'm telling you. Don't do it. Don't start now. Even though you think, oh, I, I won't get addicted to it. You will, I swear to God. You'll be addicted. It's the most addicting substance in the world. Nothing comes close. Nothing. I had to throw that shit away. I had another box of it. And I had a half a can of the cherry pie filling, marchino cherry. Oh, shit, that's good. I threw it away just today. I could have been making it right now. I, I knew I'd regret it, but I regret having it, I suppose. Cause I'll eat that whole thing. It's too late for you. What? Well, you gotta go to school tomorrow. Mommy gonna wake you up and go, It's time for school. Be like, shut up. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Uh, that's what you do to people when you, when you want to wake them up. Wake up. It's time to go to school. Fucking freaks them out, man. Think about somebody that's like 30 or 40 years old and they're dreaming. They're dreaming about probably forgetting their locker combination or hiding under the bleachers and sniffing butts. <laughs> Uh, suddenly they get woke up saying, somebody saying, wake up, it's time to go to school, you'll be late. She's a graduate. She graduated. Man, where's all them fishies at tonight? Couple of nibblers. Huh. Holy crap, I got pizza? You shitting me. <laughs> yeah. Freaking pizza. Oh, man. I 
be in diabetic coma by by tomorrow morning, huh? <laughs> Early morning. <laughs> he laying there like a old dead hound dog <laughs> in the bed. Oh. <laughs> What were we going to make? Oh, the pizza. Crap. Ooh. I got a secret to making frozen pizza. Yep. It's a secret. Man, it's slow fishing. I gotta go deep sea fishing. This boat's gotta go somewhere. Oh, I know where we gotta go in the refrigerator. Get that pizza. Ooh. We got pizza. Pepperonis. Cheese. Ah. That's a no mind. All right. Come here. Yeah. What the hell was that? Anybody sees <clears throat> any hanky panky on those bobbers? Holler. Say, hey. Getting that shit. <laughs> That's a lot of pepperoni. Holy Toledo. Man, that's a pepperoni sink of bad. Holy. Holy. That's some slow ass fishing. Tell you what. I would have double dog dared those fish to do something. If you double dog dare them, they gotta do it. <laughs> no, they do. All right, so this is what you do for frozen pizza, see? What you do is you add some ragu. <laughs> to that bad boy spoonfuls of ragu and you get your Colby Jack cheese and you add that on top of that ragu and you dare them fish to bob that bobber while you're doing this because there's nothing you can do but keep doing what you're doing so 
They're doing it. They're going to do it now. <laughs> They're going to get away with it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. That guy keeps burping in here. Huh. Good thing he doesn't got the other kind of gas. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this stuff will give you the toot scoot boogie. <laughs> if you know that song, you're a hillbilly. You know the toot scoot boogie. Toot scoot boogie. <laughs> Almost forgot crushed red peppers. Never forget crushed red peppers if you're making pizza. Because if you do, you can always put it on later. It seems to taste a little more better if you put it on first. This. Put it on there first. This, you know what I mean? Not second. This. I put it on there first. <laughs> first. Is. All right. Is it time for the fish? That's only nine fifty two. Crap. I thought it was like. I don't know, man. Going on 11, but no. Oh, let's try to turn the AC on. Hopefully it won't pop all our breakers, right? Huh. Nah. We'll find out. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot in here. Alright, well. Compressor kicked on and we still got lights. What really pops that breaker is we get all this running and the refrigerator kicks on. Pow! Now, the, the live stream should, should be running on a backup battery pack. We might find out. A clucking noise. That was a fish a chicken. Chicken of fish. 
a filet of chicken fish. Clocker. Huh. Oh yeah, if you had a chicken, you could name it Clocker. <laughs> That is such a good name for a chicken, Clucker. Give it the, the F word for its last name, Clucker F word. <laughs> so. It had a haircut that was like from the 70s. It had a mullet. <laughs> Clucker. Clucker the mullet. Down here they grunt. <laughs> Pick a fish up out of the water, it'll grunt at you. Call them poopers. <laughs> grunt, 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 grunt. <laughs> oh, the fish had a mullet. I see. This were pretty popular in the 70s. Everybody had a mullet. Yep, Joe Dirt had a mullet. Joe Dirt, Joe Dirt. All right, so that fish was called a mullet, and the person that was catching it was you, right? All right, we got it. We got it. Go on. Got to get the facts straight. This is a fact-finding mission here. Got to have all your facts straight. Be on this podcast. people subscribe to my channel and none of them ever click that bell <laughs> oh, let's see imagine that. 17 18,000 non bell clickers what's the matter with you what's the matter with you boy what's the matter with you I bet he'd rather have that hook in his mouth than in his butt. <laughs> I caught a fish by the butt one time. It fought extra hard, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that fish fought extra hard. You think he would have, like, eased up, you know, because it hurt. wanted nothing but the bottom butt hooked <laughs> that's this
Makes you wonder how a fish gets butt hooked anyway. It's like, well, why is, is he tasting it with his butt? <laughs> how do they nibble it with their butt? How? How's that work? I don't know. Seems a little strange to me. Oh, air conditioning, right on. Oh. Boy, that feels good. Oh. Hooks can hurt. Boy, fishing so slow. You think she will cruise? At least I didn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I just sit here on my butt, and watch TV, and surf the internet, and make goodies in my toaster oven. That's a good life. A ding. Good. A little further. Oh, I smell pizza. Yeah, except it didn't have him in the tail. It haven't had him in the derriere. <laughs> hey, why did that bobber move up here in the slack line like that? Looks to me like it's going for a ride. But it's not like going underwater. Must be a little packer. Huh. It's not buzzing the clicker or nothing. Something to... You were getting at the, that part? Okay. I'm glad you can explain it. <laughs> yeah, you went to school. You, they taught you about that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one bobber disappeared there. But it's not like smoking the reel or nothing. Maybe a crab got it and swam up to the boat with it. That's okay, a big channel cat. I eat that blue crab. <laughs> I don't know if there's any bass guitars in there. Oh, a bass. <laughs> a bass guitar. <laughs> That's funny how they're both spelled the same. There, now it's going back out there again. It's just like cruising around. Huh. Looks like something swimming around with it. Oh, it's going underwater, isn't it? Yeah, look at it, it's underwater. 
Well, maybe I should do something about that, huh? Let's see if it's on there, okay? Weird. Must be a full moon. <laughs> Sucker into a calzone, man. Now that current's going towards the dock. Notice how it keeps the line tight, kind of heads out towards that little dock here, keeps the Bobby over there. He's not having any problems, or she, I don't know if Bobby's a girl or a boy. I think the wind might be blowing it. Hard to say. A lot of strangeness in that big river. What's it like? Three, four, five hundred miles long. Big and wide. Deep and wide. I like get song. Na, 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 deep and wide. <laughs> Old bear should have stayed inside. She was deep and wide. <laughs> All right. Smells like pizza. Smells like Pepsi and pizza. Oh. Wow. The doors, they're breaking through, man.
Yeah. Yeah, something. Grab that bobby bobber and swam up under the boat with it. Thought it was going to have lunch up here with it. Dinner. Yeah, midnight snack a whack attack. Dare those fishies to bite right now. Uh. Screw with a pizza. <clears throat> Got so much moonlight out there, it's flashing everywhere in the water. Sing the moon dance song. That's a pretty song. Holy crap, I got a calzone. <laughs> Flip that pizza over and fold it in half. You toast it really good on both sides. Look at that thing again, it's moving in here. That's got to be the wind blowing in here. I don't know, it looks like it's going underwater. Yep. Something's pulling it underwater. What the heck? What is doing that? Huh. I saw that. Weird. Nothing there. Alright. They always wait till I'm messing with my calzone and then they do some shit. <laughs> Boy, this is looking good. Yeah, flip it over one more time. Just one more time. Flip you over. Come on. Oh, don't make a mess. <laughs> oh, don't make a mess. Mm. All right. Well, we just toast one more side here. We got a calzone. Can you imagine having a calzone on a boat? Hmm. 
What's that little bugger? When that moon's up, it's bright. That's what they're waiting for. There's that Bobby. Mr. Bobber. Damn. Who wants a cow zone? Mm. Probably give you Montezuma's revenge. Ho oh, ho! Get him over towards that dock. That's where it, it'll meet its demise. There we go. Calzone, getting nice and golden brown. Who wants calzone? Hmm. I do. I do. <laughs> calzone. You damn right that fish is hiding under that dock. You tell him to get out from under that damn thing right now. <laughs> right now, if he wants some calzone, Ooh, it's getting golden brown and crispy. You can smell that hot sausage. Ooh -wee. Pepperoni, cheese, sauce. Oh yeah. Da -da I wonder what, what was pulling that bobber under. Huh. Weird. Move slow and it pulls the bobber under. Gotta be blue crab. That's what I think it was. Big blue crab. They swim through the water. They'll find stuff and try to swim back to somewhere they can hang on and eat it, you know. Tide must be slow tonight. I don't know, it seems to be pretty good. 
holding itself up against that other dock because the wind's blowing this way. No, it's only about six feet down, the bobber. It's like nine or ten feet deep here. So there wasn't anywhere near the bottom, about at least four feet, three, four feet off the bottom. Zoom. Let me get that Montezuma's revenge. Ha ha. 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 That spicy pizza gonna get you, but don't get you coming in. It gets you going out, man. Yep. That's why they call it the revenge. Ho uh ho. -huh. Mundo. I knew I would want that gingerbread cherry pie. I knew it. <laughs> Probably better I threw it away anyway. Oh, but it was so good. It was so good. Kitty cow zone. <laughs> Kitty's cow zone. Yeah. Yeah, good name. Right, now's your chance, fishies. I'm eating calzones. You bet we don't have any ricotta cheese, huh? Mm. That would be good.
steps here. Coke is better, but Pepsi's all right. That's all you got. That's all you got, right? Put a slice of this calzone on there, send it down, send it down. Spicy. Yeah, you know it's spicy when your head starts sweating. <laughs> Poor head starts getting sweaty. Mm Hey, what's that big bobber doing? I think it's gone underwater. It's not pulling the clicker, though. Whatever that thing is, found it again. Gotta be something like a crab. Could be a real tiny little catfish. <laughs> it could be. Little baby, about this little bit bigger than your finger. About the size of your hand. 
That might be a better guess. It's definitely having a good time with it, whatever it is. That pizza was not so great. Yeah. I knew better. I knew better. Yeah. Oh, my head sweating. Spicy. Ah. That one was mine. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a baby catfish. There it goes again. Bobbing along. Singing a song. Side by side. Come on, sing with me, Bobber. Oh, it's bobbing along. Singing a song. Side by side. Oh man, my head is smoking hot. Ooh, spicy. Don't eat spicy food. Oh. I should have threw that pizza out there. <laughs> Let the fish eat that goddamn thing. <laughs> Guy here said he threw a donut in the water one time. Maybe it was a bagel. He said this big fish came up and ate it in one bite. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Especially if you feed the fish all the time. They're sitting there waiting for it. Look, here goes that bobber again. It's just like... Oh, I wish I had more Pepsi. They're all gone. Better look again, right? Frozen fruit cups. Now these are pretty good. If I'm not mistaken. Mighty tasty. Ooh, open up. Come on. Too good for regular people too. Oh. Oh. It's like a freaking That's alright, he can pull it around until something comes along and eats his ass. <laughs> Happens here more than you might think. That's why I let them play with it, you know. Something big will come up and eat both of them. Eat the bait and whatever's screwing with it. Mm. 
Oh, these frozen fruit cups are delicious. Has marchino cherries in it. Mm -hmm. If they knew how good these were, they'd sell them like this. <laughs> It's like a popsicle. Fruit a fruit sickle. Mmm. about time of year to see alligators swimming around out there. They'll come right over and see if that bobber is worth eating, I'll tell you what. They'll come over here and see what the heck's going on. I heard they, they shot Snappy Jack. That, that's what I named him. <laughs> Big alligator that was cruising around here. Snappy Jack. <laughs> so if you pet him, you won't get your hand back. <laughs> Snappy Jack. <laughs> you can pet him, but you won't get your hand back. Yeah, he was just too friendly. Well, I haven't caught a big catfish in a week. Come on. Gotta love us cherries. Everybody likes cherries. That's quite a story, or should we say quite a tale? Hey, that barber's moving again. Yeah, Michigan has lots of cherries, that's right. Them bobbers are cruising around. Ah. There he goes. He's going for a ride. <laughs> That's 
nuts. <laughs> like he's trying to take it through the tunnel. <laughs> That's where he, where he takes all his bobbers and has his way with him <laughs> in the tunnel. Are you Googling all that stuff? Nineteen years. Well, you better get out of Michigan then. It's a whole world out there. That barber just keeps cruising around. I think it's a baby catfish. I'm talking little. We know one thing for sure, it's still got bait on it. <laughs>
you come over and visit us on the Sunday May, if you ever get down to Florida Day, All right, fish. Ah. Uh. Let's 
suppose I should check your baby. It's like checking a baby's diaper. I suppose I should check your bait. <laughs> oh, see. You know, this one doesn't got no bait on. Special fried chicken. Give me, give me fried chicken. Everybody's got fried chicken. Two bobbies out there.
get a little action here on the round bobber. Trying to get away underneath that <laughs> the breezeway there. They're just little peckers, uh.
party time. It's always party time. Yep. Guess it is. time catch a fish. I predicted 11 o'clock and it's 11 o'clock so it's time catch a fish. Now. Right now. Well. Hmm. I got a roll of paper towels. It's lost. <laughs> Where are you? Huh. Lost. Shit gets lost. Wouldn't you like to be able to fish out of your basement like this? <laughs> Just sit there and not have to go anywhere and have a chance at catching some giant fish. You know they're in there. We gotta eat sometime, right? Why not right now? <laughs> yeah, why not now? Let's eat, damn it.
Joe said he's back. All right. She just can't resist. <laughs> The mesmerizing barber watch. Everybody's addicted. Something's been swimming around with that big tall barber. Every once in a while it gets a little dunk underwater. I'm still thinking it's a little catfish. Could be crab, though. Bobber's going for a ride. <laughs> you naughty Bobber. Naughty. Oh, I'm going to spank you. Goes down, it comes up. <laughs> it goes down, it comes up. Don't burn that clicker. I'm not interested. <laughs> there he goes for a ride again. We getting some mileage tonight. I can see that moon right up out of the hatch. It's big. It's bright. Think this fish should be going nuts. Think they heard we were catching them in the behind and they all took off. <laughs> Sure is a lazy night. That's why this fish are lazy. It's a lazy night. <laughs>
So who's still with us? Anybody? Where's all our faithful listeners, watchers? Got to be like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell where you go. I believe in fishies. <laughs> I believe in bobbers. <laughs> Everybody say that. I really believe it. Maybe we'll catch a fish. I believe in bobbers. The light's getting dim. <laughs> Come on, people. Believe in them bobbers. Bobber goes again. Sure likes to go places, don't it? It's not pulling the clicker, though. Gotta be tiny. Maybe it's a turtle. Yeah, we didn't even think it might be a turtle. Had to be a little pecker, though.
Night out. Uh huh. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Night out. Uh huh. Fishies are not cooperating. It's your last chance, fish. I'll make you famous. That's it for us. Good night, everybody.